In this video, I'm going to show you how I practice continuous integration in the RLCI repo. I will show you my workflow from commit to code running in production. Let's go. So here we are in the RLCI repo. And let's first have a look at the git status. So we'll see that there's uh, no changes currently. So what I will do next is to make the edit that I want to make. So the edit is in the readme file. So the point uh, of this demo is not to show any complex change, just a simple change to see how we push that change uh, through. Um, so let's see, I think it was the backlog somewhere. Uh, here, timing issue in server test. This I've actually solved, so I just want to remove this from the readme. And now, look at the diff, and this is removed, so let's commit it. And the A flag to include all the changes. I write a message explaining why I removed this stuff. And if we have a look at the history here, we can see that main now has a new commit that we want to integrate. So I'm not pushing this change directly to main. So I want to integrate it through the continuous integration pipeline. And I do that by running the zero pi integrate. And we'll have a look at what this does. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on here. The first command that this script runs is git checkout dash b branch. So we're checking out a branch called this name. So this is just to create a temporary branch that we then can push to GitHub. So we're pushing a branch called branch with all capital letters. And this is some output from the git command. And the next step here is to actually invoke the continuous integration pipeline to integrate this change into the main branch. So we do that by SSH in, into this uh, the CI server and running the command line application and trigger the RLCI pipeline. And if we have a look at the web interface, for example, for the continuous integration server, uh, we can see here what's actually run for the RLCI pipeline. So the first thing that we do uh, is to create a temporary directory, the step right here. And then this part right here is the same for all later commands. And it basically means execute what's on the right hand side inside this temporary directory. So the first step is that we clone the RLCI repo. Then we merge this temporary branch into the main branch and create this integrate merge commit. Once we've done that, we run zero pi build to run the test suite for, for the repo and the test output we can see here. Then we run git push. So this is actually going to push the new branch to main. So it will promote this uh, origin branch uh, to the main branch. So now this is where we've done the integration. Next up we just get the, the commit and the commit hash for for this um, commit and then we run 0 pi deploy uh, giving it this uh, hash as an argument. So this will deploy that exact version uh, to the CI server uh, and we can see the deploy script running here and at the end we remove the temporary directory. If we go back here, um, this is the SSH command, and what we do next is to check out the main branch, and then we do git pull. So we're updating our main branch from GitHub. 
so, so that we get the latest change to our local repo as well. Then we delete the temporary branch locally, and then we delete the temporary branch on GitHub. And if we have a look at the history now, we can see that our main branch is now equal to the main branch on GitHub, and we have this integrate commit that was created by the integration in the CI server. So this is one way, th this is how I do continuous integration in the RLCI repo. So this workflow ensures that everything that's on main is always tested and always passes the test. So this part right here that we saw, um, git push, is only run if the test pass. So this workflow ensures that the main branch is always green. The tests always pass on the main branch. And furthermore, the CI server ensures that only one person at the time can run this integrate pipeline. So when we create this merge commit and run the test, anything that comes in at the same time has to wait. So then if there's another change pending, it will have to wait for this to finish. And when that comes in, it will still uh, merge that branch uh, with the previous integration commit. So what I just showed you was one part of continuous integration, that is uh, the promise to keep everything green on the main branch. The other part of continuous integration is to integrate often. And that doesn't have so much to do with the tool, but more about how you work. But having this SeroPy integrate script makes it very easy to integrate a change, so it makes it easier to do that more often. Next week, I'll show you how I make a more complex change to RLCI and push that through to production. So, not just removing a line from the readme file, but doing something more interesting, which involves testing and actual writing code. So, I'll see you next week.